All right, uh, continuing on, uh, before we uh, get into adding a menu, I should mention the uh, wallpaper settings for uh, Compiz. Um, I have four different ones for each uh, workspace, four workspaces, so mouse wheel or control alt arrow will switch between the first, second, third desktop, and fourth, and back to the first one. So I go to the fusion icon at the top here. Uh, right click and settings manager and we go down to wallpaper make sure it's enabled here that's under uh, utility so just open that up and all you do is uh, you click uh, you can edit it or you click new and you just add desktops and this will be the first one second third and fourth uh, workspace so if I edit this first one you just browse for an image on your system and you click open and you can tell the position scale and crop and the fill and uh, colors etc so just uh, make sure if you want wallpaper so that and uh, Compiz will handle it for you alright so let's uh, take a look at uh, getting a, a menu um, it's called uh, the one I'm using is called Compiz box menu and first thing you probably want to do is make a directory in your config dot config um, folder of your in your, inside your home folder under compiz and then make a um, directory called box menu so if you open your home folder you go to your dot config compiz uh, there's box menu all right and then we want to get compiz dot um, box menu of course um, the one I use is from SourceForge. Uh, I think it's 1.15. So just open a browser and just uh, just do a search for that. And it's the first one that comes up. We'll click that and just select this link. And it's down. Just wait for it to uh, finish its countdown. But I already have that downloaded. So. Wherever you download it, uh, in my case it's in downloads, it's a Compiz box menu. You can just take the uh, folder here and drag it out. Double click to open, of course, or single click, depending on how you have things set up. And uh, you can look at the README. Uh, the thing is, you're going to have to do some manual uh, workings because it doesn't actually work out of the box because it's looking for a different version of Compiz, so this auto config Compiz uh, script, Python script won't work. So um, it's not that hard to do anyway. So first of all, we'll just make sure you're in this directory and you open a terminal and go to here or just whatever you have, like say open terminal here, and you just type in make, press enter, okay, inside this folder. And then once that's done, you just type sudo make install. Press enter, wait for it to finish. Once that's done, um, you change to this directory. It's in the xdg compiz directory. Uh, so hopefully I can copy this. And we'll just list that out. And it's just two files, menu.xml and precache.ina. All you do is uh, take... Uh, you just copy those two items, so just copy all dot all into the folder you made here, your home folder. So just that line. Now I've already done that, so I'm not going to copy those over. But if you look in the uh, home folder again, config, compiz, box menu, those two files are there. Now to get this to work, uh, with the keyboard or mouse, I'm um, just using a keyboard shortcut. You go to the settings manager like we did before, Compass settings manager, and make sure commands is checked, and click that. In command line zero, you have this Compass dash box menu, one word there. Uh, key bindings, um, uh, mine I have it as a super X or left uh, windows key and X. So I'm going to cancel that. I think they suggest uh, con uh, control and space, 
but uh, Super X seems to work fine. Button bindings you can assign, but you'll get some uh, warning messages. So I just left it at uh, the keyboard shortcut. So I go back. It says back here. I'm going to go down to uh, viewport switcher. Make sure it's enabled. Click it and go to desktop based viewpoint viewport switching. And under a plugin for initiate action, you just type in the word core and then action name. You just type this in run command zero underscore key. And you should be able to close it. If you have control space or super X or whatever you used, it should cook up, it should come up. If it doesn't, just uh, right click on the fusion icon and reload window manager and you should see that come out. This is the menu and it'll be wherever your mouse is. So if I have my mouse here, the menu comes up in that area. So, and I've already edited quite a bit of this to what I want. Uh, the original menu is, uh, has things you may not have installed or, whatever you can uh, edit the way you want so edit brings up a nice little editor it says menu XML and that's in your home folder so just double click and this is what I have so far okay so at the top you can see launcher launcher three launchers so if I press control I mean window key X you see that has those three launchers there and the underline the underscore under each word is like an ampersand so like if I press the window key X and then C right away, it brings up Chromium. So say under accessories, you want to add something. So you go down to the last item or whatever you want and just go to new here, the left, and I'll say, what do you want? So I want a new launcher and you press OK. And then you double click the new launcher area and we want a name. Say if you want, uh, what I have ABI, uh, what's that called? ABI Word, I believe. And if you want to have, like, say, I, so if you go to accessories and press I, it'll open up ABI Word. And the command, um, it might auto complete ABI, there it is, there, ABI Word. And for the icon, it goes. Uh, uh, by default in my case to uh, other but uh, you can start searching it's not there so just go to uh, this drop down menu and say applications a b there it is there you see the icon here abi word press ok and there's the icon and there's the launcher there so you click save or you can click save as so save and then you go to your menu with whatever key combination and you hit reload at the bottom here and then again bring it up under accessories ABI word now for a shut uh, restart or shutdown I put a system you, whatever you want I just made a system I have a couple of things in here I have a reboot double click that instead of say this one it says normal here for reboot is a file path so I just made a script that's all reboot.sh um, bin bash and an icon for that all right now if you want to shut down you can make a shutdown script open the leap pad and then it's sudo shut down let me zoom in here a bit uh, dash h capital p n o w i'm not quite sure i think that's what it is and make sure it's executable so i'll have the root terminal here and then ch mod plus X and paste that in and we'll start again you see shut down here is now executable so uh, exit out of here uh, quit this if you want and add a uh, new launcher double click it under here it's file path um, call it shutdown or underscore shut down or say s u um, s and then a underscore and then a u and then d o w n command is your home um i actually put the full path in so home username directory 
and then uh, shut. Oh there, shut down. Dot script. Okay, and double. There it goes. And then icon. It might be a little tricky to find. Um, I think it's under USR share. Uh, themes in my case I think it's under the oxygen because I have uh, for open box I have OB logout installed um, oxygen OB logout and shut down open there it is there so now we'll save I think everything's correct and then reload and then take a look and there's shutdown and it has the under, underlined U so it'll be like uh, your key combination system and then press U should shut down if not then there's a mistake in the script and uh, I might have uh, put the uh, switches the wrong way around uh, you can look that up it's pretty straightforward uh, shutdown now the, the only catch to this is you have to make sure that you're not using a password for sudo. Uh, so open a terminal and let's go to super user so press SU I mean type SU and your password and we'll let um, edit the uh, editor equals nano V I S U D O and we'll just page down page up a bit and you, normally uh, they say uncomment percent wheel all all okay but I just uncomment the same thing without password so if you want without password it's still you still need the sudo command but without a password comment this back in and with a pound sign number sign whatever or hashtag now they call okay and uh, uncomment this no password all and save and exit and that should get you um, working with a menu and the ability to shut down or restart and as I mentioned earlier logout is quit through the fusion icon all right so I think that covers um, most of it um, it's up to you what you want for a panel as I said before you can have a bond or a Cairo dock or whatever a docking facility so you know you have access to your notification tray and whatever uh, you need as far as quick access to programs you use and so on. Okay, so that's it for this one, and thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.